know whether we need to fundraise for them, Mr. Speaker, and even videos doing rounds in social media, Mr. Speaker, is they are sleeping in very bad places as they remain stranded, Mr. Speaker. I hope something can be done, but of course somebody in charge there, that is his quality of performance. Mr. Speaker, the issue of charges, religious organizations, uh, Mr. Speaker, is, uh, is, has been, uh, we normally every Sunday, uh, maybe, I don't know, Mr. Speaker, what we should do to religious organization, churches and mosques and other organizations because they don't have direct uh, money from anywhere, from either private or allocation from budget. And I think in future we might need to budget, Mr. Speaker, for the building of uh, religious places, Mr. Speaker. Because even if today you are to deny Arambes to happen, Mr. Speaker, how will the church or how will the religious organization be able to fund uh, the building of churches, the building of mosques, or any religious places of worship, Mr. Speaker? And I think we need to be very careful so that we don't overreach uh, in this issue of regulating of financial uh, rewards, Mr. Speaker. Because every, every, I think either the county government can budget for building of religious places uh, of worship, or we can allocate from the national budget. In, in any case, 85% of national budget remains with the national and 15%, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, one of the common is the issue of hospital bills. I know every senator, including yourself, you are normally in WhatsApp groups trying to fundraise for, for somebody who is sick, Mr. Speaker, even on compassionate grounds, even including funeral expenses, Mr. Speaker. But, but I think one of the biggest challenge to many Kenyans is the hospital bill. We hope the social health uh, insurance, the share issue will be able to resolve, Mr. Speaker. And I hope with us contributing more towards the social health authority uh, and the, trans the, the now transiting from NHIF to share, Mr. Speaker, will allow Kenyans to access medical care that they will not need to, to, to call for Arambis because every weekend, if it is not an Arambe for funeral expenses and medical expenses, it is for education. If it is not for education, Mr. Speaker, it is for building of places of worship, Mr. Speaker. So I hope and believe that the issue of hospital bill, if we are able to address the issue of fixing SHA and ensure that access to medical care is accessible to all, all Kenyans through universal health coverage, Mr. Speaker, we shall reduce by 80% contributions or arambes that are done in support of hospital bills across the country. And you know the problem, Mr. Speaker, is not even the hospital bill. It is that we have commercialized uh, medical services in this country. When you walk to a private facility, health center, they cannot explain to you as why they are charging, for example, the amount they are charging in their medical bills. I saw in some instances a private medical facility was charging 20 million on medical bill. When you ask them the gloves, the syringes, they cannot quantify or who gives them. I think the issue should we should regulate the private health facilities across the country. Because no one can tell us whenever they give you an hospital bill. And I know, for example, like Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital, Jeramogio Ginga Hospital, uh, Coast General Provision Hospital, Nakuru, uh, the Rift Valley, they have a way of doing waivers to the needy, Mr. Speaker, that is being done by. But these private facilities, you saw beauty and buy that led to the boat of the late uh, Mayor Sol Res Lucy, who, who was buried the other day, uh, Mr. Speaker, that you are being told that, Eltifa, that facility is licensed, the allegations we are hearing, is licensed to provide massage and masseuse services. But you are told they were doing, uh, they were doing some surgery to, to, for, for, for beauty issues, and, and it shows that there is a problem within the system, Mr. Speaker, and I hope at the end of it all, we should be able to address such issues of having. Even one of the major issues is compassion, compassionate donations, Mr. Speaker. We have seen, I remember in the last session, Mr. Speaker, some of us have been around for some time. In fact, in then, the code, was it called a coalition of restoration of democracy? When the teachers were on strike, they came up with a pay bill uh, to fundraise for teachers then. Although no one t told us what happened to that money that was being raised, Mr. Speaker, I hope with the audit coming under this bill, we will be able to know when such causes happen, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I agree largely with the spirit of the bill, but I have reservations, Mr. Speaker. 
that, uh, and, and, and you know, even in this issue of fundraising, Mr. Speaker, uh, I have some reservations to it. What I expected from this bill, Mr. Speaker, was just the process. We should have simplified. You want to do an arambe? Yes. Where do you go? You get a permit. But, Mr. Speaker, introducing a cabinet secretary, a CCM, audits, you know, taxation, you know, it's unnecessary. It is lethargy of the entire process, clogging the process. We should make the issue of doing an arambe in this country to be very simple. Where you just need a permit to do an arambe. Give us a substantive reason. If it is a medical reason, let it be non medical bills, Mr. Speaker. If it is about, Mr. Speaker, building a religious place, let it be known. If it is about compassionate grounds, let it be known, Mr. Speaker. And I don't see the need why involve. I thought the cabinet secretaries of this republic have better things to do than regulate Arambis, Mr. Speaker. I would have expected that we would just give a law that we give even through a law that provides, Mr. Speaker, for that uh, uh, appeals. On the issue of appeals, Mr. Speaker, as clear there is public fundraising bills. You remember when there was a ravaging drought and, uh, and there were issues of uh, um, anger in the country, Mr. Speaker. You remember Kenyans for Kenyans that was being done to fundraise for Kenyans. I agree that uh, such, Mr. Speaker, we can say on public fundraising appeals, we do audit. For I don't know whether Morara Kebaso, who is fundraising to go and audit, for fuel and walking around with security. I don't know whether Morara Kebaso, the, the proponent of INJECT, uh, is part of public fundraising bills. Because when you fundraise to fuel your car to do something, I don't know whether it is part of the public fundraising. And I agree, it must be standards as to such, Mr. Speaker. I don't know, public fundraising involves also fundraising for campaigns. I have not seen in this bill, Mr. Speaker, although we have campaigning finance uh, laws in this country, but, but this public, I think we should have just regulated in terms of auditing. Let us regulate to public, uh, public fundraising appeals. We don't create bureaucracy. You can imagine some small village somewhere in Nandi. I've lost someone. Their target to bury an individual is 250,000 shillings. Why create a bureaucracy for them to look for a chief to go and look for CCM of uh, Sijui Wat or a cabinet secretary to get an ap approval to fundraise for 250,000 shillings. Why don't you bring a standardized form for just permit to request to do an election, to, to do a fundraise? And they should start it with the, with the, the lowest person there, Mr. Speaker, that is uh, Mzewa Mita. The lowest person just get approval from the local chief. How many in, how many in, in Machakos, how many people in that small village no CCM or no even Waziri or even sub-county administrator. I think, Mr. Speaker, it's, it's very unfortunate that we, we want to, to, to do. Mr. Speaker, I don't see anything that receive vet and process applications. Let me walk to the chief's office with a permit to do an arambe, feel, let the chief look at it, and then I'm allowed to do an arambe. But to public fundraising appeals like for the food, that one you can do the vetting and approval. But on this one, sir, private, Mr. Speaker, I don't see any need. Even the audit, investigate misuse of funds, I agree. These are, are issues that can be done in public. Establishment of uh, endowment funds, which is important. I know like Ratans and other endowment funds who support Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, even on the role of cabinet secretary and county executive committee member, uh, Mr. Speaker, inspection of records. We, Mr. Speaker, there are many better things that the CCM and a cabinet secretary can do, rather than Mr. Speaker uh, doing regulating Arambes. Let us be also be fair to this country. Let us prepare laws that are, that are fair to the case.